The biochemical and physiological interplay between dietary sugars, blood pH regulation, and fungal proliferation. The relationship between carbohydrate metabolism, systemic acid-base homeostasis, and fungal pathophysiology constitutes a multifaceted biochemical network that bridges nutrition, metabolism, and host microbe interactions. Blood pH is rigorously maintained within the narrow physiological range of 7.35 c 7.45 through an integrated buffering system encompassing respiratory regulation of carbon dioxide (CO2), renal modulation of bicarbonate (HCO3), and intracellular phosphate and protein buffering. Even minor deviations from this range can disrupt enzymatic catalysis, redox balance, and ion transport processes. Although the body's homeostatic mechanisms prevent gross fluctuations in systemic pH, localized acid-base disturbances at the tissue or cellular level are increasingly recognized as critical determinants of metabolic signaling and microbial colonization dynamics. Metabolically, the catabolism of simple sugars such as glucose, fructose, and sucrose via glycolysis and the tricarboxylic acid TCA cycle yields CO2 and water as terminal products. The hydration of CO2 forms carbonic acid, H2CO3, which transiently contributes to local acidification prior to pulmonary exhalation of CO2. While systemic buffering rapidly restores equilibrium, chronic hyperglycemia and excessive consumption of refined carbohydrates can impose a sustained metabolic acid load. This phenomenon is mediated through increased production of organic acids, insulin-driven shifts in electrolyte gradients, and enhanced oxidative metabolism, leading to tissue CO2 retention. Consequently, the microenvironment of certain tissues, particularly mucosal surfaces, interstitial compartments, and poorly perfused regions, may become modestly acidified, creating conditions conducive to microbial persistence. Fungal organisms, notably Candida albicans, exhibit metabolic plasticity that enables them to exploit glucose-rich and mildly acidic niches. Glucose functions not only as an energy substrate, but also as a signaling molecule regulating fungal morphogenesis, adhesion, and biofilm formation. Acidic microenvironments, pH 4 and 6, facilitate the yeast to high file transition in candida, enhancing tissue invasion and immune evasion. The combination of elevated glucose availability and local acidosis thus constitutes a permissive environment for fungal colonization. These effects are further potentiated by the suppression of innate immune function in hyperglycemic states. Elevated glucose impairs neutrophil chemotaxis, phagocytosis and the oxidative burst thereby compromising host antifungal defenses. The resulting immunometabolic imbalance represents a central mechanism through which diet-induced metabolic perturbations can influence fungal pathogenicity. From a systems biology perspective, the interaction between dietary sugars, host pH regulation, and fungal growth exemplifies a feedback loop wherein metabolic excess fosters both biochemical and microbial dysregulation. High glycemic diets exacerbate oxidative stress and inflammatory signaling, which in turn perpetuate localized acidification and nutrient leakage, further enhancing fungal viability. Conversely, metabolic equilibrium, supported by a diet rich in complex carbohydrates, fibers, and alkalinizing mineral cofactors, stabilizes intracellular pH and limits substrate availability for pathogenic fungi. Such dietary modulation also promotes eubiosis within the gut microbiome, indirectly reinforcing colonization resistance against opportunistic fungi. In conclusion, the biochemical interdependence of sugar metabolism, acid-base balance, and fungal ecology underscores the necessity of integrating metabolic and microbial perspectives in both clinical and nutritional research. Persistent hyperglycemia and high dietary sugar intake exert multifactorial effects that extend beyond glycemic control, influencing local tissue pH, immune competence, and fungal pathogenic potential. Addressing these relationships through metabolic optimization, pH stabilization, 
and dietary regulation may represent an underappreciated yet potent strategy for mitigating fungal overgrowth and improving host resilience in metabolic and immunological disorders.